What is most needed today? By Arthur Pink. It is my deepening conviction that what is most needed today is a wide proclamation of those truths which are the least acceptable to the flesh. What is needed today is a scriptural setting forth of the character of God, His absolute sovereignty, His ineffable holiness, His inflexible justice, His unchanging veracity. What is needed today is a scriptural setting forth of the condition of the natural man, his total depravity, his spiritual insensibility, his inveterate hostility to God, the fact that he is condemned already, and that the wrath of a sin-hating God is even now abiding upon him. What is needed today is a scriptural setting forth of the alarming danger which sinners are in, the indescribably awful doom which awaits them, the fact that if they follow their present course only a little further, they shall most certainly suffer the due penalty of their iniquities. What is needed today is a scriptural setting forth of the nature of that dreadful punishment which awaits the lost the awfulness of it, the hopelessness of it, the unendurableness of it, the endlessness of it. Accepting the cross of Christ, nothing else so manifests the heinousness of sin as the doctrine of eternal punishment. It is just because these truths have been withheld so much from public ministry to the saints that we now find so many backboneless, sentimental, lopsided Christians in our assemblies. A clearer vision of the awe-inspiring attributes of God would banish much of our levity and irreverence. A better understanding of our depravity by nature would humble us and make us see our deep need of using the appointed means of grace. A facing of the alarming danger of the lost sinner would cause us to consider our ways and make us more diligent to make our calling and election sure. A realization of the unspeakable misery which awaits the lost and which each of us has fully merited would immeasurably deepen our gratitude and bring us to thank God more fervently that we have been snatched as brands from the burning and delivered from the wrath to come, it would also make us far more earnest in our prayers as we supplicate God on behalf of the unsaved.